Hello and welcome to this weekly vlog. First off, I am so close to finishing my book. Well, so close by, well, yeah, no, I feel pretty close. Look at that, I only have about like 100 pages left. Oh, I'm losing my book spot. Book spot? What is it called? What is this called? Page marker? What are these called? Why can't my brain remember this? Bookmark. It's only Tuesday morning, Pauline. <laughs> Hello. I feel like the eccentric auntie in these glasses, and I even put on earrings today, like, I don't, I don't know. It's been really spooky weather out, honestly, because we've had some wildfires in Canada nearby, and we've had smog for days now, and it's very eerie looking, like the sunlight is like a pinkish orange. It's, it's spooky, I don't like it. Anywho. On a lighter note, yesterday, Monday, basically I just had a work day. I worked in the morning, came home, I spent any free time I had doing some editing. Uh, I edited, what did I edit? I edited a lot of shorts, reels, TikToks, whatever you want to call them. I edited those uh, from footage that I already had and I scheduled them, upload and scheduled them to post for the next months-ish? But for some reason, again, Instagram is like, you can do it five times and then we're gonna lock you out and you're not allowed to post anything at all. So I don't know why there's a limiter on Instagram. Like, I feel like people should be allowed to schedule things in advance because most of us have jobs and don't have time to sit and live on social media. You know, I'll get off my soapbox now. But anywho, I did that yesterday with my little bits of free time in between work. And then today I have the majority of the day off because again, my personal training client isn't in town, so we don't have a session. And uh, I'm using the midday heat and high UV to stay inside. And I'm working on making a poster. A friend of ours gave us a sandwich board to use outside of the studio. So I'm making posters that I can like double face tape into them of like the schedule. And I'm also gonna add on there like what level the classes are so people know and personal training I do that and we're gonna get those printed well today they'll probably get printed today and pick them up tomorrow when we're out that way because not this Thursday but next Thursday there's like a little event in the main street area of town and I kind of want to put that out there and like set out a card table maybe I'll bake like some oatmeal raisin cookies as a treat you know that kind of just I want to participate in it I'm already there teaching and my sister is too, so we can trade on and off, which is fabulous. So I'm kind of preparing for that. And I'm also thinking, I'm also thinking about adding some new classes, like a prenatal class, a parent taught kind of fitness class. And I also want to add a seated senior fitness. Right now the one I teach is standing and we do like, you know, balancing exercises and coordination and cardio. But for my super seniors who are like 90 and up, who need to remain seated, you know, they, you know, standing is kind of limited for them, or maybe they have a hip injury, whatever, whatever it may be, you know, they can come to that class. But I'll probably, I have to be careful about what time it's at because they're not going to want to get up early. <laughs> and I totally understand. I will be a complete diva like Mariah Carey at that point in time in my life. When if I, you know, get to 90, 100 years old, which it probably will, I have longevity in my genetics, I'm, I'm going to be a lot to handle. I will admit that. You know, it is what it is. I deserve at that point to be the drama, you know, to be the villain of the story. Anywho, those are the classes I'm thinking about adding. Not right this second, but maybe midsummer, end of summer, probably end of summer I might, might add them. And yeah, gotta make that poster. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna make myself a smoothie right now. I need a little, I'm peckish. I need a treat. And then I'm gonna work on finishing that up and see where I'm at with everything else. I'm probably gonna update my to-do list after that for the week because I have no idea what I'm doing. And if I don't give myself a proper to-do list, I will just sit and read this book until I finish it. And I need to, I know I need to get things done. I just don't know what they are right now other than that poster. So yeah, we're gonna be productive and then we'll read the book. We're so close and it's getting so good. It's at that point where you just want to read it and you don't want to do anything else and it's all you can think about. But we'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> okay, smoothie time.
Um, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. If, if I could just squeeze in here really quick. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mind me. Hello. So first, I'm going to say the air quality has definitely hit me this morning, Thursday. I was teaching one of my senior fitness classes. So it's like a medium level difficulty. I offer lots of modifications and it's very low impact. Like we're not running in place, needless to say. And I was about three fourths of the way through teaching class and I started to get like tunnel vision. I felt numbness in my finger. I almost passed out. To put it short, I almost passed out. And it's kind of how I felt. I don't know if I talked about it in the last vlog or this vlog, how last Saturday uh, in the morning when we were out working, I kept going, hmm, I kind of feel like I'm gonna pass out. And at first I was like, maybe it's because I haven't eaten. Maybe I've not had enough water. I think it's straight up just the air quality because of the fires. I, I think that's, it's just hitting me. Cause I mean, I've been working out in the yard like since Mother's Day. So for weeks now on end, and the fires have been going on for a while and we're just kind of now seeing visually the impact, but the impact has already been here. Yeah, that's a little health update. On lighter note, we're staying indoors today. You can't see him, but I have Rusty. I'll make sure to show you. He's just being a sweet baby on the couch. And I have a little kind of unboxing to do. I already took it out of the box though. Well, some of it. First part, the crochet hook. We're gonna be using this jumbo one for the project that I'm doing, which is exciting. Um, I want to knit a blanket and whatever else I can cr knit crochet, because it's a crochet hook. And I have to show you how this stuff arrived. I don't know if I can fit it. It came in a garbage bag inside a box, but I got some more jumbo yarn and I got it in this like berry color. It was uber on sale for $8 each versus I think it usually goes for like 24. And I was looking for a color like this because I didn't want to go with too dark of a color or too light of a color, I mean, because it's just going to get dirty. Like for me, an adult having a light co colored blanket that I don't allow my dogs on. It's fine, but for like a small human, you just you have to be a little more realistic. So I thought I could sit and work on this and catch up on some YouTube videos. I have so many Rachel Maxey videos to watch. But yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, 847, there's the clearance tag. Got for 847. I'm gonna start on this project and I don't really have too much work work stuff left to do until the end of the week. On Saturday, we'll, I'll be doing my weekly accounting and I do have to make some posters for next week, but like I'm really wiped out if I'm being honest. So I'm gonna stay inside and chill out a little bit and just be calm. And if I get bored of this then I'll work on stuff I have going on next week for work and get ahead in that. And fingers crossed, I remember how to do this. <laughs> okay, I gotta find the end of this somewhere. Let's hop to it. <laughs> like that we are already <laughs> this far <laughs> along I think it's time to turn around and start a new row I'm gonna get myself some extra space oh did, am I in, upsetting you so I have to admit don't really remember how I, you turn it I'm pretty sure you turn it this way do I want to go here is this the one I want to do I have to do both right and then I do the one and then both go over and then I find the next one, put that one and then both go over. Okay, so I think, I, I think I'm doing it. We'll see, we'll find out. I haven't done actual crochet in a while. Sorry, welcome back very quickly. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start completely over and try to crochet looser. I think I'm going to undo everything I've done and start over. Ah, uh, it's okay. I swear I'm not losing my mind. It's just I care. You know, it's funny when I'm making something for myself, I could give zero Fs, honestly, when it's for myself. Cause I'm like, oh, I won't care about like these tiny little things. Like, you know, as long as it fits, 
you know, X, Y, Z doesn't have to be perfect, but when I'm making this for someone else, there's just, like, it's, there is no angel and devil on my shoulder. There's just two, like, like maybe a gargoyle and Smeagol, and this is precious and it needs to be perfect. So we're starting over again. Hello, I just finished editing the bonus Thursday vlog that's going up. I'm so happy to finally have time to do that again. And it is currently Friday, it's almost seven, which means I have to go make some pizza because we're having a pizza movie night tonight. But I wanted to close the vlog. Oh, what do you have there? I swear, she knows when I'm talking to a camera because she goes and gets her loudest toy, which is her large pink phone. Anywho, I wanted to close the vlog really quick because um, I'm probably going to film another short little weekend vlog. I think that might be kind of a goal of mine for the next couple Thursdays, so fingers crossed that we do that because there are things I need to get done over the weekend, so hopefully we can just vlog them. Her kennel is in my room right now because we each we picked up some air purifiers and we each have one in our room, so we each took a dog into our room so that they could breathe, uh, so that they could get some really fresh, clean air, because they were all kind of struggling. I got no sleep last night. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, just the most random thing that happened to my mom, because we carpool whenever we go to the rink. She runs her own errands, just so that it's not multiple people taking multiple trips with the car. It's just one trip. And she was in the Meyer parking lot and found a seagull that had a fish hook it's like stuck, I have to, sorry, I'll be right back. I'm so sorry, Noodle, but this is too loud right now. But she found a seagull that had a fish hook like through their beak and it was all tangled up in the fishing line and she had called animal control and they weren't there yet so she's like, I'm gonna wait with them until they're here and a trucker came to just use the parking lot to take a nap as one does and my mom was like, hey, can you help me? And they teamed up. They freed him, got the hook out of his mouth. Thankfully, the guy had a pocket knife to cut the tangled white, uh, fishing line, and they flew away. And I don't know what it's been. Like, less than a week, we've saved three animals, us as a family. But yeah, that was so wild. I had to share that, though. I think that's all. I think I'm going to go make pizza now. I'm actually probably going to film a quick little book review. I loved this book. I really did. So I'm really liking Debbie. She's a wonderful writer. Okay, so yeah, with that, every Sunday I post a new weekly vlog, and sometimes on Thursdays I post a bonus mini vlog, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss them, and I will see ya when I see ya.